Okay, Erin, shall we get started? Yes, please. All right, excellent. So I'd like to welcome everyone to the AIM Florida chapter July webinar. And we very much appreciate your attendance here today. And we know that you're here with the desire for further education uh, with regards to all things digital transformation, records management, information governance, and we very much appreciate the time that you've taken today. So today's presentation is something historical for the AIM Florida chapter. And what I mean by that is um, as president of the AIM Florida chapter and for a number of years uh, in its history, it's the first time that we have gone outside of the uh, border, shall we say, of uh, North America. And so this is a very opportune time. As you likely know, and your interest in our uh, presentation today, is that times companies, larger companies, will be involved with projects outside of the scope of what is records and information governance, uh, chain of custody, et cetera, as it pertains to compliance in the United States or Canada, et cetera. The interesting thing about uh, some of our members, actually we have had participants in the chapter in the past that have had uh, opportunities to provide uh, digitization projects, complete digitization projects in countries, uh, one being uh, in Cuba, in fact. And so, but that did not take us out of our borders. So we're very thankful to the Foundation Global Group and uh, we'll, we'll present uh, the directors there uh, following the introduction of Alvaro. Uh, but one of the things that we like is that not only do you learn about what challenges were presented, but also from the insights of who directs the project. And in today's uh, pro, uh, uh, case of, for our webinar is Alvaro Arias Cruz. Alvaro is the director of the Bogota Archives, and he's a professional information and library sciences uh, MBA, and he's a certified international consultant in SAP. For more than 20 years uh, in the uh, national industry across Colombia, he uh, has been leader of the content strategy and academic coordinator of Renata, which is the Internet uh, uh, to Colombia project, uh, director of the General Archive of the Nation in Colombia, national director of libraries at National University of Columbia, and he's an expert in the archives of the oil and gas industry. Albert is also, uh, as you know, pertains to his expertise that he's going to be providing today, uh, always heavily involved in digital content management projects, uh, virtual libraries and educational portfolios. And he operates as an independent senior consultant as well. Uh, and uh, also in conjunction with his directorship of the Bogota Archives. So we're very pleased to have Alvaro with us here today, and we, we thank him very much. Uh, on behalf of the AIM board, joining me today is Aaron Dempsey. Aaron is director of the uh, marketing and communications for the AIM Florida chapter, uh, and with us also are Jaime Ruiz and Guillermo Cruz from the uh, Foundation Global Group. And we're very proud to have those board members of TFGG joining us today. So without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to 
Alvaro and uh, for his presentation here today. Alvaro just had a small problem with his audio. He's going, he's coming back into the room. Okay. Can you, right. So can, we, can you just buy like three minutes for him, please? Okay. All right. So uh, I think it would be really good, uh, Jaime, if, uh, if you could tell the group a little bit about uh, the Foundation Global Group and the uh, country coverage and, and uh, uh, some followers uh, from the attendees here today, but not only in doing so, also have the opportunity to, uh, to explain a bit about the projects that you have underway. Okay. Now, uh, you, now you only have one minute to do that. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, yeah, perfect. Because Alor is back in, in the room. Uh, good morning, yeah. guys. Uh, I'm Jaime Ruiz. I'm running Latin America for the TFGG. TFGG is the foundation global group uh, based in Puerto Rico. Uh, we are opening offices uh, right now. We just opened offices in Mexico, Colombia, <coughs> Dominican Republic, and uh, Costa Rica. Uh, we're trying to just open our offices down in South in uh, Argentina or Brazil. Uh, we have uh, a bit, like five uh, divisions in IT, and one of them is all what is uh, related with record management, uh, document management, file system uh, record, uh, file systems. And uh, with Alvaro and Guillermo and Maria Gold uh, from IDSS, we are planning opening a chapter for in AIM for Latin America. So that's where we are. Uh, uh, let's uh, welcome Alvaro, uh, that he's back uh, uh, on the room and he's now with uh, sound. Entonces, te dejo, Alvaro, eh, eh, your room. So it's, it's your thank time, you. it's your show, your show time. Okay, thank you. Uh, hi uh, for everyone. Um, uh, greetings uh, from Bogota, Colombia, uh, for all attendants here for this web uh, webinar. Um, for me, it's a pleasure and honor to share the uh, knowledge with the uh, uh, colleagues in, in other countries like the uh, United States and Puerto Rico. Uh, so I'm very excited and happy to, to join uh, today with you. Um, I show my, okay, let me, let me show the presentation. Uh, I, I want to thank uh, uh, to Craig and uh, Jaime uh, for this opportunity uh, for the chapter uh, <coughs> I am in Florida. Uh, so it's very interesting to connect with you. So the idea is to um, have a, a, a long uh, connections uh, between uh, our countries about their records and documents, uh, problems and solutions, and to have a good experience with the, with with us. <clears throat> Everybody look my presentation. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, so <coughs> today I want to present the uh, what is the our experience in Bogota uh, about digital transformation plan in order to uh, advance in. Uh, the document management and archive administration at the city of Bogota. <coughs> In particular, this presentation uh, is not institutional, it's at the territory, it's a very particular situation. So uh, that is my uh, subject for today. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Okay. Uh, to start, uh, I want to uh, show the, the overview about the how is the manage the uh, um, functions of the um, 
Records and Document Management in, in Bogotá. Eh, Archivo Bogotá is the, the main directions the, about the, <clears throat> in this direction, uh, we have uh, the responsibilities, uh, the mission to, to, to do uh, many things, many actions in order that the records and document management uh, for all institutions that in integrate our territory, like uh, uh, public uh, administration, uh, work everywhere, uh, very well. So <clears throat> we have a, a main mission, a mission, uh, that mission uh, depends on the public policy uh, because you know, uh, in Colombia, like other countries, we have a, a general general law in archives. The, the law in archives is the main policy, the public policy about that matter. In Colombia, the number of law is 594. Uh, <coughs> so the mission in the territory, that law is for all territory in, in Colombia, all, all national, it's a national law. No? Um, so for Bogota, the mission depend of that uh, public policy. So the main mission for Archive Bogota is to be leader of the records and documents public policy for Bogota City. It's the, the main mission. So in that mission, we 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 <coughs> we um, um, we are um, the 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 how do you say? We make the, uh, the policies, the drivings, the guidelines about the how the institutions in Bogota make the good practice about records management and documents management systems. The scope of the Bogota includes 60 public institutions. That institution are integrated into the district archive system of Bogota. So we have two big pillars or fundamental basis uh, in order to to achieve this mission. Uh, the, the first pillar is a archival function in the capital district. That function uh, it has a focus, uh, uh, have a focus in efficient of public management, uh, transparency, public transparency, institutional memory, knowledge management, information access, intellectual capital, uh, like know-how. Uh, with that focus, uh, we pretend to a strength of the district public archives. That's the first pillar. The second pillar is document of the city's documentary heritage. Documentary heritage is a, another big pillar. Uh, the focus is obviously protect the documentary heritage, uh, uh, build the history of the city, uh, to be the source of the citizen information, access to citizen memory, and territory of peace. That last one is very important for us because you know, our country has a, a conflict internal conflicts in uh, many years ago. So from the point of view of archives, like documentary heritage is very important that uh, matter. <coughs> because, you know, the archives are guarantee of the rights. So for that is very important in, in that focus. With this uh, particular focus for this pillar, 
we pretend is trailing the documentary heritage and history, historical memory of the city. So with this overview, uh, show you what is the uh, uh, main functions of Ar Bogotá archives. Uh, we have the another particular scenario to integrate the uh, institution, six institutions. So we have uh, the district ar archive system of Bogota. So here is the coordinator of the uh, system because our office is a, is a core of the system to coordinate every institutions. Uh, we have a, say, a, um, 17, 17 <coughs> sectors, you know, uh, because it's necessary to organize by uh, specializations, in this case by sectors, each sector is dedicated to a special function into the uh, Bogota city. For example, we have a public public management is a one sector, another is health, another is security, another is women, another is uh, social uh, relations. Uh, so each sector has a different institution composed with different institutions. So that is the way to organize our district archive systems. So it's very easy to uh, implement different uh, guidelines about records management if uh, we have uh, uh, directions or we, or we propose directions uh, for each uh, sector is, is our, our organization. <coughs> and in additional, uh, we have in this uh, district archive system, the service, the portfolio of services. For example, we have a um, technical assistance services for the institution about records management and archives. Um, we have uh, a technical concepts. We give of the institution technical concepts about the how, how implement different uh, information system for records management. Um, we have a, a laboratory, the informatic or technology laboratory applied to records management. Uh, we, we give the standardization or, or normalization about best practice for the all institution about records management. So it's possible to, uh, to have a good uh, portfolio for the service for, for, for give good services to the institutions. Um, we have another uh, instance in this district archive systems. We have the board, the main board, where the people has the big decision for the city uh, uh, in reference with records management. For example, the um, records schedule retention for, the, for each institution. The, the approve of these uh, records schedules is in this board. <coughs> um, another another uh, thing is uh, we have a, um, like it, um, a strategic surveillance about records management. It, this service uh, collect all information, all statistics information about ho how is implement the records management um, uh, guidelines uh, in, in the, uh, into each sector and each institution. So it's a good uh, tool in order to um, have the state of art about the situation in each uh, sector. It's, it's very important this, this tool. 
what is the vision about the digital transformation in, in Bogota? The first is the vision about digital transformation is citizen oriented, is the main uh, uh, focus about the vision. So uh, this vision has uh, many particular uh, things. For example, uh, we want to this digital transformation, create new products and services, uh, redefine way of the delivering value uh, uh, about, uh, about records management services for the citizen, for example. Uh, we want to new document management model for Bogota because it's necessary to um, redefine or review uh, uh, the particular uh, characteristic of the actual uh, or the present model in order to improve in the future the, the, the model with the, we need to change something um, particular uh, instrument about the records management. For example, I, I want to, to give you the, the example. In the, in your country and, and, the, and the maybe other countries, um, you have or you use the filing classification system because it's a very important tool into the uh, hundred of management uh, documents. However, in our countries, that uh, tool is is no is is no is no is no strong. It's very it's very um, um, it's, it's very how do you say? No se usa mucho. It's no use, not useful. Uh, so it's very interesting to show the benefits of the use the filing classification system to organize all documentation and all, all folders uh, um, for physical and digital formats. So it's a new uh, uh, challenge in, in, in this uh, model for Bogota. Another um, element, for example, is more training people. We need to impulse, uh, we need to uh, promote the, the training for the people that they get to the uh, specific uh, uh, function in records management into the institutions. <coughs> um, another is to improve document management processes. It, it, it's very important to improve the all, uh, all uh, steps and the all different particular stacks in the process uh, into the uh, records management because it's necessary to improve particular uh, situations. Uh, this is the opportunity. Uh, we need to simplify it and agility of the processes. This, that is the, the proposed. Uh, improve customer and user experience is very important important for these challenges uh, to do that. Uh, so I, I, I think uh, it's necessary to introduce new technologies applied to the document management process. <coughs> what is the strategic proposal? <coughs> this strategy proposal has three big components. The big component, the first one is big goal. The second one is strategic objectives. The third one is digital transformation agenda. The big goal uh, is very important because it's the, the connection of the, our uh, digital transformation plan with the Bogota Development District Plan. Because you know it, administration has a period. So our period is for, for four years. Uh, the idea is this, of this big goal is connect with Bogota Development District Plan. It's aligned with the big, big plan in the city. So the big goal is formulate and implement 
a strategy for district document management and the use of the appropriation of historical memory. That is a big goal for our plan, for our agenda. <coughs> um, what is the strategic objective? We have three. The first one is strengthening and moving to, towards electronic document uh, management. The 60 institution in Bogota, we want to move towards electronic document management. It's the first strategic objective. The second one is strengthening the public archives at Bogota, okay. So it's very important the concept for us, the public archives, because sometimes the institutions uh, has a, a very, um, um, how do you say, devil? Uh, I, mean, I don't remember, <laughs> devil. Okay, you hear weak. me, Jaime? Weak. Okay, it's weak. very, the, the public archives weak. Are, are weak, are, are weak, and uh, uh, so it's necessary to strange. Um, so so the, the particular situation is because sometimes the, the managers in the institution thinks that uh, archive is, is, is a, a um, no important things, you know, it's a, it's a very few attention to the archives. So now it's necessary to change the um, level about the, how the important is the public archives of the city. The third one is improve the recovery, preservation, dissemination, and appropriation of the documentary heritage and historical memory of Bogota. Historical memory is a connection with the um, uh, archives about the human rights, uh, peace and reconciliation. Is, is the connection with the next uh, component. The third component is a digital transformation agenda. For each one strategic objectives, we have the particular or a strategic project. That project uh, um, compound the, the transform, digital transformation agenda. For example, for the first objective, we have the uh, Bogota District Archives Network. It's a, it's a big network that connect, but uh, with interoperability um, <coughs> links, all institutions in Bogota about records management. We want to connect uh, every archives for each, for each institution in order to open the access, uh, the search information about the public administration. Is that, uh, is, is, our, is our intention, okay? So we have another one project the project is open public archives catalog. If we want, if we build the, the um, archives network, we want to build the open public archives catalog in order that, that the, in order to um, uh, close the citizens to the administration through the catalog. That is, that is important. Uh, project. <coughs> For the second uh, uh, strategic objective, we have a, a project that new document management model is a, a specific project. And the third one, the third object is a, a strategy objective. We have three projects. The first one is institutional digitalization plan. We need that big digitalization plan in order to um, publish all information about records management produced into the public administration. Um, we have a particular two additional projects 
first one is Bogota, a common history 2.0. That is the, the, the collaborative description platform for the construction of local memory by communities. It's, 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 that project is very particular because it's not common to, to give the capacities, capa, capabilities, you know, capacities of the to the communities in order to create our um, um, local memory. So it's a it's a it's a good project. It's a, it's a very interesting project. And the other one is, or the last one is, that the district plan for human rights archives, histor historical memory, peace and reconciliation. That is the strategic project in our digital transformation agenda. And finally, we need to obviously uh, operating model optimization into the Bogota archives. So, so that is the, the last one. We need to change our internal process uh, <coughs> to do that uh, each project uh, very well. So um, finally, uh, you show for each year in this administration for the Mayo, uh, we have a, a specific uh, uh, proposal. For example, in 2020, uh, we make the design of the strategic projects. Uh, this year, uh, we make the detailed design of the strategic strategy projects. Uh, next year, we have the phase one of the implementation of the strategy project. In 2023, phase two, in 2024, phase three, the implementation. So it does, it does, that is the, that's the, the, the strategy proposal. <coughs> okay. Now I want to talk about the particular elements of about the digital transformation plan. For example, the main components um, 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 how do you say? Okay. Um, the, the main components of our digital transformation plan uh, are four. The first one is a strategic perspective. perspective. Uh, second is process perspective. There is what is what, uh, human talent perspective and for its technology perspective. For each one perspective, we, uh, we focus our attention uh, in order to uh, implement the, the digital transformation plan. Uh, we have here some particular elements into the that, that uh, plan. For example, the first one is diagnostic, diagnostic about the what is the main uh, critical factors uh, in Bogota about records and document management. So we use different tools in order to know that situation. Uh, for example, the first one we have the uh, a maturity model is that the a maturity model about records management is that the tool uh, used in order to collect different information from the institution in order to know what is the uh, level of advance for each institution in records management. We, we use the SOAP, SOAP is that uh, tool the plan the strategy plan, plan planning strategy planning tool um, we analyze the critical factors and make the prior, 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 uh, priority priorities uh, in order to um, shoot what is the project uh, will be first than others and um, and and we use another tool like a, a strategy surveillance in document management, because that is the information uh, very use, useful uh, 
to know and to take decisions about the what is the better, better um, um, priorities or better um, ways to start the implement of the plan. <coughs> Additional, we identify uh, different gaps in, in this plan. That is the result of the diagnostic. So for example, for the uh, strategic perspective, we have five, five gaps. Uh, we have eight gaps about the process per perspective. We have uh, eight gaps for human talent perspective. And we have seven gaps identified for technology perspective. So that is the, uh, uh, the way to um, know our um, critical factors that uh, the plan need to to um, solve uh, to make to, to make the solutions. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> another one is that target, target situation. Uh, we have, for example, <coughs> the roadmap. The roadmap. Uh, in, in that roadmap, we have twenty nine uh, uh, actions uh, in order to. Um, uh, include the uh, uh, different uh, uh, different um, stakeholders uh, and uh, estimate the schedule for each uh, action. Uh, we have the uh, balance scorecard uh, tool. Um, we have the chain management plan. Uh, we have the matrix about the impact uh, and use of the technology. In the projects, so all things we we have um, the the follow up uh, of the government guidelines in the digital transformation, because our country has in the national uh, level uh, some guidelines in digital transformation very very useful for for our digital transformation plan. So I, uh, we received the support from Ministry of Information and Communication Technologies about digital transformation subject. With these elements, um, we received the uh, leadership budget in digital transformation last year. So for us, for, was very interesting. This, um, this, uh, this. Um, this um, challenge. <coughs> okay, benefits about digital transformation. We have uh, six benefits. The first one is promote collaboration and citizen participation and transparency. And transparency. And second one is increase the productivity of the public administration. And third one is reduce costs and generate savings. Uh, for is improve the ability of uh, access to public information. Uh, five is improve services to citizens and entities of the district. And um, last one is strengthen the governments of information and improve response times to, to users. That is the benefits of our plan. Uh, finally, uh, what is the advance? We have uh, six uh, uh, activities uh, in order to show the advance. For example, first one is the records and document management strategy diagnostic, uh, focused by public sectors specialized. <coughs> I have that diagnostic. We have that diagnostic. Second one is records and document management needs and gaps. I, I got this information. Um, um, third one is identification of the improvements and strategic priorities. And for we, ha we have a roadmap for digital transformation. Uh, that activities 
uh, correspond to dawn in in 22, 20, 22 and 21 years. Um, in progress, right now, we have a digital transformation actions and promote human talent capacities. And pending for the next, maybe final, the end of the year or the next year, updating, updating digital transformation plan for the next phases. Technologies evaluate for our digital transformation plan. Uh, very, this this uh, information is very important because uh, we um, can uh, identify a lot of opportunities to improve our processes, our uh, tools, our system. So uh, some digital or uh, some technologies identify corresponds of, for example, BPM is necessary, is necessary to use that technology to improve some processes in our um, institution. Um, use the uh, robot processes, the robot technology, robotica. Uh, machine learning is another opportunity. Uh, OCR and ICR. Uh, recently, we um, buy the solution about OCR. Uh, we 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 buy the um, AVI solution about that. Uh, we have a good opportunity to use blockchains, especially for the um, 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 human rights archives, because that archives are very sensitive, so it's necessary to protect the information. Maybe blockchain will be so, will be the solution. Uh, big data is very important because it's necessary to process all uh, information the massive way uh, with big data solutions. Uh, artificial intelligence, is another opportunity, technology, uh, cloud services, uh, storage services, is uh, is, a, is an, uh, are very interesting technologies. Um, E-learning. Um, the last one is application <coughs> application for for uh, social media. Very very important. Very interesting. So that is the the final information for you today about the particular information about uh, our digital transformation plan applied to the records management and document management in the Bogota city. So, uh, we have excuse a me. Of questions. Um, so, uh, you spoke with regards to some of the challenges and, and we, uh, as you, uh, and for the uh, the quality of the document, as uh, you know, we all know, is key to proper um, able to keep records and so forth, and, and in different uh, climate and fluctuations, and you know where uh, some of the documents could um, be stored in 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 uh, or have been you know written in in tomes and and. Uh, you know, you're literally applying some uh, cursive uh, recognition in, in OCR, ICR to that. But what are some of the changes in, uh, I'm sorry, uh, challenges that has been faced in the project with the overall quality of the documents that we can only presume uh, is very tough? I'm sorry, Craig, but I don't hear very well you. So I don't know if, if you you want to repeat the the question. Let, let me try that again. Uh, so uh, I, 
about the quality of, of the documents that, you know, typically in a scenario uh, where we know, you know, some are, are handwritten records, uh, you know, typically stored in registries of uh, tomes or, or you know, large books uh, in, in the different climate that, you know, I think everybody faces with the uh, fluctuations and temperature and things like that. What are some of the main challenges that you've had in, in you know, getting the data, lifting the data from those types of documents and, and pages? Uh, how much of exception work does that cause? Uh, okay, um, thank you, Craig, for your question. So, okay, this is the, the building of the Bogotá archives. And in this building, we have a 56 uh, deposit of storage about physical physical records but, but that records uh, that we started here is uh, is a, a, a is documentary page no? so in in that in that case the paper or, or physical physical records physical archives so the quality in that volume because we have we have a big volume share of documents uh the the quality is very important but but uh, our institutions or our um yes the institutions in When create that documents in the past, pues, okay, the quality is was not very very well. Um, how do you say sure? Because we receive for last twenty years all documentation from different institutions in Bogota in bad conditions. So it's, it's a big problem with us uh, receive that information and we need to uh, conf uh, create the teams, the big teams to process that information to uh, assure the quality information, the quality physical documentation, the quality uh, protect information. So in this building, we 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 have we have a, a different um, um, a, or different conditions, uh, good conditions uh, by uh, by okay, below standards, uh, the standards and quality conditions uh, like uh, humidity, like uh, air condition, etc. Um, because we need to protect that documentation. So is, in that case, we need to, to excuse me. Yeah, Alvaro, if I, if I can interject a question that uh, as part of your answer, you may want to refer to, is physical storage, you know, a, a big part, obviously, you, you talked about that, but, you know, in the terms of you're still going to deal with the paper record, right? Uh, like uh, I can't, I'm trying yeah. to word in English, like an Archie Como, right? A, 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 a one of those uh, uh, expandable uh, storage units. Uh, that actually, many document management uh, companies uh, still sell uh, across the world today. Yes, uh, but uh, Craig, the, another component about the record is the digital or electronic records because you know uh, we we need to to receive the next uh, transference of a document from the institution uh, in digital package so now we use different uh, tools or different guidelines um, in order to we use the uh, um, standard 
the, the metadata scheme standard in order to uh, request uh, for all institutions that uh, uh, use that uh, scheme of the metadata standard uh, in order to normalize or unify uh, the each record into the database to associate to different uh, so, uh, electronic folders or digital documents. So, so anything we, that's still sitting in an archive that's in a physical book form or, um, you know, in, a, in any uh, registry or notary or what have you, are those quickly trying to be preserved before they're digitized or are you just trying to digitize as fast as you can to make sure that you know with furthering months years etc that they don't get even worse uh, okay we have a uh, difficult about that because uh, the uh, both archives uh, have a uh, uh, one platform for receive all information and receive that uh, uh, registers, but uh, is a uh, is a whole um, platform. So we uh, update that platform and the platform of our records management or about document management. So uh, a good uh, uh, system, but other institution has a, a very poor system. So it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a critical situation. So we need to, with this trans digital transformation, to unify uh, through the guidelines <coughs> about the requirements to use big, uh, good, uh, good uh, records management system, a good uh, uh, scheme of metadata, a good uh, quality, uh, a particular qual a par parameters of quality uh, information. So it's a, it's a big challenge for us. So now we're, we're up, up against the hour um, on behalf of the chapter. I, I wish to thank you very much, as well as uh, everyone from uh, the Foundation Global Group in a very informative session here. And we hope that our uh, audience uh, really got a lot of uh, meaningful content from this project and the difficulties that are surrounding any type of project. It's easy for, uh, you know, with a lot of uh, storage capability and, cap and, you know, things of preservation and chain of custody uh, and provenance to really everyone to think, well, you know, it's, gee, it's not that hard because we have those documents preserved or locked up or in banker boxes. But, you know, it's very important for everyone to be exposed to the fact that sometimes you'll fall in or, or encounter a project that where not all the conditions are optimal, uh, not all the records are, you know, just perfectly ready for scanning. So, uh, you know, with that, I, I thank you very much and very informative here. Uh, and we um, plan uh, for our audience to have uh, the slide deck from Alvaro available to you, as well as the recording of the webinar. So with that, uh, any uh, parting comments, uh, words from uh, Alvaro or uh, from the uh, Foundation Global Group, and then we'll close our session for today. Okay, great, great. Thank you, thank you very much for your open this uh, space and share the uh, uh, information about records and document management. Um, thank you for, for I'm Florida, I'm 
Foundation Global Group for support about this presentation. You're very welcome, and, and we appreciate your uh, time and, and preparation and, and uh, uh, presentation here today. And um, we'll ask anyone uh, who has a question, we'll be happy to put you in contact with our uh, I may anything uh, in closing from TFGG? Oh, no. Uh... I really appreciate uh, Alvaro's intervention. Uh, thank you very much, Craig, for uh, giving us the opportunity to be part of uh, AIM. And uh, we all see you in the next time then. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. We appreciate your okay. here today. And we look forward to uh, uh, having you on uh, in attendance for our August webinar. Uh, Aaron, the, the date so that I don't mess it up uh, is uh, August, August the 26th. That's 26th, Thursday the 26th, 11 a.m. And uh, uh, we'll be talking uh, more about Capture and uh, all things related to uh, Capture 2.0 and beyond. So, uh, okay. very good. We'll look forward to seeing everyone then. Thank you, and everyone have a great day. Bye now. Bye bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.